Camera Display Toolkit for After Effects. Here is the project you have just downloaded from Envato or from Elements. And here, in the project window, there are four folders. A 4K, an HD, a portrait and a square aspect ratio, the same exact overlays. In our example, we will use an HD. The first layer is the blue color layer and from here you have access to all controls. First of all, there is the main color. That's everything except the recording and the battery level. Battery. You can increase or decrease the battery level from this slider. And there are two colors here for the battery. You can use any color for the numbers and different color for the battery. The size of the battery. And after that, we move to the recording where you have two colors. You can change the circle color and the text color individually. The checkbox for blinking or not blinking, that's only for the dot. So selecting the blinking light, you have a blinking dot for the recording. Volume control, there's the volume levels, whereas a checkbox for horizontal or for vertical. Two drop down menus for the safe lines, that's the lines in the edges, where you have 10 options here. And after using these safe lines, there is a drop down menu for 10 options for the center, that's this. That's the center, different options for the target. There is the size scale, the line width for these two drop down menus lines. We move to our time code. We can scale it, but selecting the layer time code, we can use this position, numbers, or just select the numbers and move it from here and place it wherever we like. We got our checkbox for the golden ratio, sidelines, bottom numbers, these two numbers. Let's move the time code and see our numbers here. And finally, we got four drop down menus for these four orange layers where we can select individually from 32 preset icons. There is also a placeholder where you can place your own icon. If you need to use your custom icon, you just select a placeholder from the icon selector. All icon selectors include a placeholder, which is the last option. And go to our icon selector, for example, here, number one. Move down and see this red color layer where you can place your own icon inside. Use the placeholder options if you don't want to use any icon. So I can remove the icons by using an empty placeholder. I really hope you enjoy working with this camera display overlay toolkit for After Effects and make great promos. Thanks for watching.